What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the red color, playing as Set. His name is Shelty. His opponent today in the blue color, playing as Poseidon. His name is Matrius. The map is Oasis. And we have Set versus Poseidon. And I love this match up more and more the more and more i get into how fun set is to play the more and more i enjoy watching and seeing set uh one day we're gonna see set played my way but until we see that we see set played the experts way whatever it's fine i'm not salty we see three zebra spawn here now this is the thing this is the thing right people and by people i mean uh, set, uh, people who aren't aware of how good Set is, will look at Set on Oasis and go, you know what? Yeah, Set's no good on Oasis. You, there's hardly any animals to convert. You get, you don't get to use the, the advantages. There's hardly any hunt on the map. It's really hard to hit time. You're wrong. Two monuments. That's all you need to invest in. And you too can have infinite hunt. On Oasis, it's a map with very little hunt. It's absolutely bonkers. We see the uh, the priest searching around here. We've got ourselves the uh, the giraffe over here. So unfortunately for Shelty, he hasn't found his hunt. But what he has done is he hasn't used his uh, his god power uh, vision yet. So vision still there. You can see vision still there. And what this means is that in the early classical age, in the heroic age, in the mythic age. Shelty can use the combination of vision and shifting sands to hit anywhere on the map and be a complete surprise to his opponent. Uh, there's no way to stop it. You can't prevent the unit from scouting in. No way to do that. It's just something that is a possibility for set. So this sort of thing that is happening now, at least we're seeing Shelty do it, is really, really important. Instead of using vision right at the start to try and make sure you're going to be converting animals, you save it live the dream so we'll see what shelty's going to try and do here it looks like he's going going to go for a try try and go for a fast advance sign with the second town center kind of thing without any monuments but as long as he puts them up a little bit later and starts making the animals from his pharaoh he should be fine uh we are seeing that uh matrius here is grabbing his giraffe now poseidon as well on oasis one of the stronger gods because the reasons is or the reasons are poseidon gets lua and Lua is 1,000 food worth of herdables or huntables. And both of those things are really, really important on, uh, on Oasis. And then beyond that, we do have the Poseidon versus set matchup advantage. And what that is, is Poseidon uh, gets a couple of things that are really, really good to stop set. So first of all, as I've said, set is a timing attack civilization. So how do you beat a timing attack civilization? God powers such as ceasefire and frost, really, really good to stop timing attacks. Uh, uh, and then beyond that, things which can uh, really slow your opponent's move, uh, building killing things down is really, really helpful as well. So what does Poseidon get? Poseidon gets militia, what a militia. They are essentially hoplites and hoplites are very good at killing off siege towers. So. Those are the reasons why Poseidon can be really, really good here. So that does not necessarily mean that uh, casting ceasefire is going to be enough every single time, as we do see the uh, the monkey and uh, hyena here going to try and take out this Kitaka boss, which it, it might be able to, especially with a little bit of micro here. As the as the well, I mean, the monkey is too slow here. You have to kind of do this micro a little bit different. Uh, but we will be seeing an attempt here from uh, from Shelty to keep his hyena alive as we see two monkeys now out and they've got lots of HP. So that's going to be more than enough to defend this one. But Theseus is now coming through. The monkey is going to attempt to retreat back and this is going to be either a dead priest or dead monkeys. It would seem here as the, the priest is going down now. Yes, it will go down. The Katoskos is trying to get taken out here as well. Uh, but... No more animal converting for Shelty. I do think that you don't necessarily... like. I mean, this is obviously different, a different situation, but I don't think that Set wants to lose this priest ever. 
Keeping this priest alive is really important in this matchup because you want to use it to use your pharaoh and priest in tandem to defend this gold mine against potential Odysseus or like ranged archer hero shenanigans. Chiron, Odysseus, Hippolytar attacking this gold mine from here is really annoying. But what you can do is use your pharaoh and priest to take it down, utilizing some healing mechanics to keep the damage uh, coming through. As these villagers continue to eat this hunt over here, we will be seeing a town center coming down for Matrius. No surprises where that's concerned. Uh, and uh, Hermes on the way here. Uh, thank you for the subscription, the tier one there, Mr. Maz. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you for coming in and checking out and supporting uh, as the villagers throwing up these houses over here. The Theseus Centaur checking out this town center and... If, uh, if Shelty wants this one, it's going to be very, very tough here as the vision does get dropped onto his opponent's base and he does steal the goats away from the Poseidon. You know, I, I mean, all I can say is, eh, this is like, this is, this is like purely an annoying, this is like, okay, this is like the most annoying usage of vision shifting sands you can possibly do. Completely, you can completely play around it, but it is—it's just annoying. As we see more villagers coming over here uh, to get this to get this town center up, as the Santar does come in here to get some damage done. The Theseus going to get surrounded. The Pharaoh gets pulled. One villager going to be going down here as the Santar does get pulled back. Theseus goes down. This is a lot of investment to get this town center up. And Matrius has already got his second town center here. So uh, in all, all in all, big win for, for Matrius in the early game. So anyways, let's talk about well, what's happened here. We've seen the goats got stolen. Shelty is going to want to grab himself some wood now. He's got himself a pickaxe already, which I think was maybe a bit of a mistake. Definitely getting husbandry first there was would have been better, but it doesn't matter. He's going to be getting a little bit of wood in, and he's going to jump onto these herdables and just eat herdables. So, yeah, he did a little bit of, like, mid-game damage to Matrius, as now Matrius has only got four herdables here. But Shelty is down, shifting sands and vision, which in tandem equal... At, least, at the very least, equal a ceasefire. Vision, Shifting Sands should be able to force a ceasefire, which then means you get access to Ancestors as well. So now Shelty doesn't have that. So now Ancestors gets cancelled out, ceasefire is still in. Matrius is going to be very happy to continue in this game. So we do see the stables coming down, uh, and that's that's it. And alternatively, ceasefire to counter Tornado, and then Ancestors comes in as well as another kind of option but uh it, it it's not the be all and end all so we just still have these three gazelle which can be eaten as well and they are good and they are yummy and you should eat them they cost only two favor on Vubli. i had the recent pleasure of of um of trying to play set on extended edition i was just having some fun uh and gazelle over there cost four favor that's double the amount of favor and guess what it's still really good even on extended edition, you can get away with on a, on an oasis map with very little hunt. You can get away with uh, with spamming gazelle and eating those uh, with with everything else with all the herdables you can get on oasis and still have a really really good game. So even at four favor, gazelle is set as strong. Just saying. Listen to me. One day, it looks like Shelty's going to be going for a, a a fast. A fast heroic here off of the two town centers, dropping the armory up in the top corner over here. Just about to be able to advance. No real surprises where that's concerned. We've got farm starting to come down for Matrius. He's struggling a little bit for resources here as he needs to get everything out. He is eating his berries up on the top corner over here. Uh, and like I said, he's, he's, he's playing around this lack of herdables very nicely. Obviously, it would have been nice to have a few more herdables here, but... He's going to be completely fine as he moves in. He sees the gold mine over here. The the pharaoh getting pulled might get might get killed here as uh, Matrius spots it. Tries to prevent that one there. We do see it getting pulled back here as shaft mine now coming through for Shelter. He's got plenty of villages on gold over. He definitely wants the pharaoh on that gold mine, but I mean on the wood line it's not going to be that bad either. You can always pull villages off of gold here over onto the wood. Drop the hill fort over here and then start making his way to try and grab this gold mine himself with some chariot arches and everything else here. So we'll see how that's all going to go. As Well, Matrius's next point, port of, uh, port of business, is he needs to get to 
heavy cavalry as fast as he humanly can to deal with the chariot archers because he should know at this point nine minutes into the game there's got to be Nephthys coming. There's got to be a Heroic Edge coming. There's going to be Chariot Archers coming on this map. So how do you beat Chariot Archers with Poseidon? Heavy Cavalry is the way to go. The best way to go. Heavy Cavalry with Pierce Armor is uh, is a good way to go as well. As we see another stable coming down. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Matrius going next age very, very soon here. As the Hippocon looking to move forward and take out some villagers. The villagers going to get pulled off. Jump into the town center here. And they're going to be fine as Matrius is just going to continue to sit on this position. Just a nice safe Migdal stronghold here for 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 Shelty. There's no there's no need to really rush that second gold mine. He can drop the Migdal up here if he wants. He can drop the Migdal right next to his town center and just have units here and try and grab the gold mine. No real problems here. Uh, the the uh, the big timing for Matrius is going to be some sort of a. Uh, some sort of Aphrodite curse timing to hit off this gold mine, but even then with a Migdol or two over there, it should be fine. But we are seeing that Shelty says, "Yeah, I'm just going to come up to this gold mine and, and grab this one. No, no problems here. Like you're you're on this gold mine. I know that much, and I'm going to have some units out here to defend over here. We are seeing, you've got to eat those giraffe set. They, they've got 150 food in them. If you had if you had two or three uh, elk, you'd eat those, right? So why not eat these? Not only that, look at the crocodile got 100 food, 60 food. All of this food you can eat. But instead, farms. Feels bad, man. More goat coming over here for Shelty is trying to maintain the food production. Making uh, making camelry as set is something that I would recommend not doing. You know, if you really want to make food-based units, making spearmen, getting your spearmen upgrades is going to be the best way to go about it. Because camelry, unlike with Ra... Uh, they've only got 135 HP, which ends up not being really enough. If you take a look at the actual bonus here, you're going to get 75% bonus damage against cavalry. So 8.8 .8 times the 75%, it, it, it's coming. It's something like 12 damage, if it's eight, like 12 or 13 damage. I, I don't know the exact math, but look at the Hopicon. They do 11 damage and they've got more HP, so they end up not really countering uh, Hippocon like you might think, especially when the upgrades start coming in. Anyways, onwards and upwards. Shark mine coming through for Matrius uh, as he's continuing to motor ahead. Shelty, he's got himself the siege works down, but uh, if you don't have shifting sands, I actually don't think that you want to be making siege towers, really. Uh, you want to be thinking about getting catapult out to take down buildings and utilizing tornado to kill off stuff. Thank you for the six months, Keto. How you going, my friends? Welcome, welcome. Uh, medium Hippogon over here. Going to be getting taken down. Nice play here with the cavalry at this point. I don't think Matrius should be looking for fights, just distracting is kind of the aim of the game here. The walls are already up, so it's really hard for Shelty to get in here as the Hippocon going to come in and block these units from racing into the main base. But uh, Shelty's going to be more than happy to take these fights at this point here uh, as these, uh, these Hippocon don't cut the mustard just yet. Uh, but Matrius, is, he's got three town centers here. He's just going to... I mean, he's got the advantage in terms of town centers, so he's going to be fine with taking some fights, getting some more economy coming through. This kind of makes some sense here, uh, especially once he takes out all those camelry. Those tarot archers will fall afterwards, and we see a little bit of micro here for, for Matrius trying to dodge the, the, uh, the arrow fire here. Look at that micro there. It's not quite fast enough as the cavalry is going to be hitting just a little bit here. Uh, but Matrius, plenty of resources in the bank. Just needs more military buildings down to, to support that here. He's going to be retreating back. He does still have ceasefire, but remember, you don't really want to use ceasefire unless you're countering an ancestors or a, or a tornado or something like that. As the... Uh, that's the Shelty units moving in. They will find these villages, though. Getting that damage done while this is going on. We see a town center coming through. Quarry coming through as well. Uh, the question is, do we see any upgrades for the plow? Not just yet. No irrigation in just yet. As Copper Weapon Spirited Charge coming through for Matrius. Uh, Spirited Charge, I guess, but Copper Weapons. Why? Why not? I mean, I guess. Why not? Why not? Why not get Copper Weapons? You see these units over here dealing with the reinforcements that are coming forward. Heavy chariots coming through and heavy cavalry coming through for Shelty. Getting those up is really important. Meanwhile, we see some Hippocon raids onto this town center put with 14 villagers over here. It's not going to be enough to stop this one as the pressure is still mounting over here. This gold mine getting pushed. I mean, there's only nine gold left there, but Theseus over here uh, almost going down. 
as the uh, siege tower now starting to move forward here. If you're if you're sheltering, you've got excess gold right now. Bring some villagers forward. Bring the pharaoh forward and slap a hill a migdol down right next to this stable and start putting pressure on this town center. That has to be the next way forward here. Is the hippocon getting some good uh, villager kills over here? Is uh, they definitely. Uh, are being a little bit funky over here. Uh, 68 villages to 78 though, so Madras still has the advantage where that's concerned, but Madras definitely struggling for the gold income here. He has plenty of wood, but I mean, is that because he's got too many villages on wood right now? He needs more on gold. I guess that's the case. As now the uh, the siege tower going to start thinking about getting in here and taking this one out. And that that hill, that Migdal stronghold, where's he going to put it up? That's the big question. Right there, right where I said, yes, wedge it in here. Nice and defensive, utilizing your opponent's buildings to get this down. We will be seeing the Pharaoh getting taken out. There's a bit of a mistake there by Shelty Garrison inside of the Siege Tower. Uh, he does garrison. Keeps the Pharaoh alive here. Six HP remaining. Going to be swinging around here to get this Migdol up as fast as he can. The villagers coming through now. Going to start shanking down the Siege Towers. And this is the weakness of the Siege Tower. It's not the damage. If the Siege Tower is already on the town center... That then it's fine. Like right now, it's fine. But if, as the town, as the siege tower walks forward here, uh, the villagers can get ready to start taking this down. That's why siege. That's why uh, shifting sand siege towers are, are so ridiculously strong. As uh, the siege tower is still trying to push in here, mattress still trying to defend the hippocon coming in here. Mattress is at 132 of 145 population here. He's still struggling to keep this uh, this town center alive. A handful of villagers uh, sitting idle here for mattress. While now Shelty is at 100 or at his 80 villager pop cap here with his really strong chariot archers, uh, and even with spirited charge here and, and copper weapons, uh, the chariot archer is still too strong, especially with the help of cavalry. At this point, still no irrigation through for Shelty, making me very sad. You can see that he's struggling a little bit for food here uh, and resources in general because of that. But the Hippocon's still trying to push through here. Shelty and Matrius making slight mistakes, not targeting down enemy units with the town center and Migdal here. As a siege works getting dropped on the front. Shelty dropping down to 111 of 145 population as Matrius has still got tons of resources in the bank. 121 of 145 population able to push through this uh, army that Shelty has assembled as we are seeing some more units pushing in for Shelty but he's just not got everything in here that he needs as it looks like Matrius is more than capable of uh, of taking these fights in the classical age and now we see Dionysus coming through for Matrius as he's planning to get himself Thracian horses to continue in this game as we do see the ancestors getting dropped as a very desperate measure here the Hippolyta is already out though and I'm not sure if Matrius is going to care or not, he does care. He decides, yep, ceasefire is the go. I'm going to get myself heavy calf. I'm going to get myself uh, Thracian horses. And Shelty's not going to be able to survive against these cavalry, cavalry until he gets to Horus Spearman. That's the way in which you deal with Dionysus is Horus Spearman. And Shelty's invested already into the heavy cavalry, so he's not going to want to leave them too soon. We'll see how, he's, how it's going to go here, but I'm... I'm scared for I'm scared for Shelty as this game continues. As there's the Dionysus in. Heavy cavalry on the way. Copper mail as well. Now, one way in which you can kind of deal with this with set is rush bronze mail. If your opponent is going mass cavalry, you can go bronze mail. Um like way way earlier than this i'm talking like way like way earlier right now you're already too far behind but ru rushing bronze mail at like 12 minutes and s or something after you get your heavy cavalry just thinking about getting those upgrades while you have some excess resources what for you before these big fights start coming in where your opponents got all the upgrades thracian horse is about to come in hippocon in 6.05 uh, speed here as the Hydra is going to be coming through. We are going to be seeing the Camelry retreating back here as the stable going to be getting taken out. Pharaoh moving forward going to start slinging some of those special bullets in to take down the Hydra here as the heavy Hippocon pushing forward. The, the heavy uh, Cavalry doing their best. Look at these. Look at these Hippocon now. 43% hack armor. 217 HP. Fortified town centers coming through. There is no way, shape or form that 
Shelty wins this fight. Even the Scorpion Man is going to be doing next to nothing here. Uh, and that Hydra, while it has taken a bit of damage, will start to get extra heads. And now, look at this. Shelty has to retreat back. And not only that... Matthews has got himself fortified town centers. He's got himself masons, and that means that a, a, a sneaky tornado here is not going to be enough to take down a town center either. As the units pushing through, we're seeing mass camel uh, cal cavalry coming through here, and I'm sure that prop potentially will see some prodromus. Not only that, we've got Bacchanalia coming in, which is only a five percent increase to HP. But when the when the Hippocon have got 150 HP, you're still looking at a, a healthy amount of bonus for these Hippocon to get. Uh, as they as they completely clean Shelty is down to 190 of 160 population. Shelty pulling back to his home base. Uh, gonna have to go back to the drawing board here. He hasn't started a trade route. He hasn't gotten he hasn't gotten his uh, his irrigation yet. His economy a little bit in shambles. Bowsaw coming through. Quarry coming through the village onto this gold mine in the front where these Hippocon are just way too strong here. The siege tower trying to do what it can at this point as the cavalry getting taken down the shelty retreating back here we are going to be seeing the hydra now able to start taking down villages and every kill here is a potential extra head uh if you if you're unaware of how the mechanic works every killing blow that the hydra gets is a chance for an extra head to come in so technically the hydra only needs five killing blows to get or four killing blows to get five heads but it, it, it doesn't quite work that way in practice as uh shelty does have to tap out there the thracian horse uh cavalry too strong look at that look at that hp 225 hp absolutely bonkers here uh nice play by matrius but i i do have to say this set needs shifting sands you can't waste shifting sands envision in this matchup there's a point in this game where if where where, where shelty has got has the advantage where shelty 100 percent has the advantage and he's trying to find how to make a bigger advantage in this game and he was looking for raids and he maybe picked off a village or two but in the end of the day if that point in the game was spent Shifting sands onto this town center, forcing ceasefire, pulling back over onto this location, dropping that Migdol and having ancestors as well to boot with his stronger army, then I'm sh more than certain this town center falls and Matrius has to figure out a different way to go forward here. I mean, there's so many... There's so many options for Set to find an advantage in this game, but if you waste, uh, if you waste shifting sands, stealing herdables... Yeah, you find a slight advantage, but being able to convert that advantage just feels so difficult uh, because it's Poseidon and Poseidon has got a lot of tools in its belt to deal with what Set does. So you have to really play as cleanly as possible to win with Set. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, if you enjoyed this this game and enjoy these uh, these uh, these Age of Mythology cast, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.